Today, I want to talk about everyone's favorite topic, low value clients. Yes, I'm being very facetious on that. Um, they're such a pain, aren't they? So how do you deal with it? So you've got a client that's low, low value, which means you're getting a low price for them. Low price, high stress level, just a regular pain in the, you know what. So how do we deal with them? Well, there's three, always three ways you can deal with them. And that's what I want to cover off in today's uh, video. So what are we going to do? So we got, we got three things that we can do with them. So, and not in any particular order, yeah, kind of. Uh, so let's go, let's do this uh, low, low paying, low paying clients. Let's talk about that. So low paying, <laughs> tripping over my words, sorry. Low paying clients, how do we deal with them? So number one, number one is what can we do? Suck it up. <laughs> and I'm being quite serious here. That's what I got to tell you most accountants do. We just suck it up. We'll just keep working. Just keep doing the work. Keep getting the paid that low amount. Keep having that pain. And every year, you just have that salt rubbing in the wound a little bit more every single year. It is an option. And that's it is an option for you. That's option number one is suck it up. Number two, one of my favorites, is offload them. So when you offload a client, you just fire them. You get rid of them. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this, right? One is you can just offload the client and get rid of them. What we do in the account, what I show accountants to do in the accountant success formula is I'm like, you know, just because they, it's a client that sucks for you doesn't mean it's necessarily going to suck for somebody else. So here's the wonderful thing is like everybody's got their own accounting practice and everybody's got their own threshold of pain and suckiness, shall we say. So a client, they give you an example. I had one firm, they, he had a bunch of personal tax returns that he was doing. And these tax returns were low around 200 and 250 bucks a month or 300, three, not a month, $300 a year. And so he went and grabbed all that group and I said, here, sell it, offload it and give it to your, your aunt. And so he went to bring to his, his aunt, his aunt goes, oh my God, I can't do that. That's way too high. The, amount, the amount's too much. I only charge like 50 bucks a return. Whoa, makes my head spin. But what I'm getting at here is, just because you have a client that you don't like, doesn't mean someone else doesn't want it. So in the accountant success formula, I show you how to have to offload them and get paid to not do the work, right? So what you do is you can get paid from somebody else to offload that client, or if they're really that bad, you just ax them. In other words, just offload them and let them go, okay? So there's your two, first two options. Number one, suck it up. Number two, offload, and you can either get paid by sending it to someone who uh, will buy it from you. Um, and yes, people will buy these clients from you. It's amazing, but they will. And number, or the second option is just to ask them. Now, what's number three? You may ask, well, number three is to onboard them. I call it onboard. Onboard them on to basically pay more. So get them, how do we get them to pay more? So we get their price to go up. We get them to pay a higher price, a price that makes us happy, a price that makes us, makes it tolerable to do the work, but hopefully it's the kind of work you want to do. But so let's talk about how do you get the price higher? Well, the way we get the price higher is by getting the value higher. And really that's most things like some accountants said, you could just force feed your clients and just say, I'm just charging you more because it, you need to pay more. I don't really like that approach. I really don't because that's kind of an ag, it's an adversarial approach with your clients. You're basically telling them to fuck off. So you're saying here, pay me more, fuck off. Like it's not cool, right? Even if they do stay, they're going to be pissed off, right? So it's not their fault that you charge them so little to begin with. And this is where the rub comes in. If you've been doing work for a client at a low, low price, it's your fault. It's hundred percent your fault. It's a hard pill to swallow, but it's true. So don't just shove it down their throat. How about let's increase the value that we're providing them and then increase the price. Well, and here's where it goes. And with the accountant success formula, I show accountants exactly how to increase the value they're delivering to their clients without putting in any more effort. 
That's the key here. Just because we're gonna increase the value for the client doesn't mean we have to increase the effort. And there is a way to do that. It's inside the Accountant Success Formula program. And as I mentioned in my last week's video, I have an online course that I've been giving it away for free. It's not gonna shut down soon. So if you want access to it, find out exactly how to increase value without increasing the amount of effort you have to do. So you can increase the price and keep that low paying client, but then bring them up to a higher paying client. So there you go your three ways to deal with low paying, low, am I tripping over my words today? Sorry. Three ways of dealing with low paying clients. Number one, suck it up. Number two, offload them. Number three, onboard them with a higher price by giving them a higher value. So there you go. I'm Eric Solback and reminding you that when you take back control of your business model, you can take back control of your life. Stay tuned for more success tips to come.